I'd like to show you some of my more esoteric books. I have a history as a teacher of religious studies and, uh, uh, well, I, I have an interest in this stuff. So let, let me start off uh, this series with a book called uh, Alchemy and Mysticism. It's a Taschen uh, Bibliotheca Universalis book. Uh, so you know these books, probably. Um, they are, they're, they're basically art books, okay? This, in all honesty, that this book isn't going to really teach you anything. It's a terrible place to start a study of alchemy. Uh, I'd say that if you wanted to start studying alchemy, if you were really, really serious, you would start with Carl Jung's Psychology and Alchemy. This is a lovely, lovely book, by the way. Uh, it's just incredibly dense. Uh, every single line um, is so heavy with information. Um, you can only really read a paragraph at a time, but each paragraph is pages and pages long. Um, uh, if you do decide to start with this, uh, in fact, I wouldn't start with the introduction. I, I started with the introduction, and uh, it's a it's a fifty page introduction uh, with with, as I was saying, every single <laughs> line uh, very very heavy with information, um, and I gave up. Uh, once and only came back to it several years later. Uh, so not necessarily um, uh, 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 <laughs> the best place to start. Uh, if you're going to start with this book, um, uh, start start at chapter one, which is yeah about about, uh, about fifty pages in. It's a it's a heavy book as well. Uh, it's, yeah, about five hundred and fifty pages. Uh, if you're more into your light reading, um, this uh, being. Lon Milo Duquette's Understanding Alistair Crowley's Thoth Tarot. While it sounds like uh, absolutely not the right place to start learning about alchemy, um, uh, Lon Milo Duquette is actually a very, very knowledgeable man. And uh, because the, the tarot and alchemy have very similar origins, um, uh, well, knowledge of one should really imply knowledge of the other, and and Lon Milo Duquette does a fantastic job of introducing, well, actually both the tarot and alchemy uh, to absolute novices in in this book. A delight to read this one. Very funny, very interesting, um, uh, and great great for great for beginners. Um, in terms of this book, uh, I first of all wanted to show you the size of it. It's it's quite small. I brought the um, the Barnes and Noble's leatherback um, Bible to place next to it so that you could see the difference in size. If I put both both of those bases more or less at the same at the same level, you can see that this one's considerably shorter in size than uh, than the Bible, though the um, the width is. Uh, uh, not quite as uh, as far off okay uh, so it's it's quite a, a small book it's a little bit of a shame that it's such a small book in in my opinion because um well the reason I say that is because it's an art book uh, uh, it's not a study book it's uh, it is an art book here's uh, here's a look at what the spine looks like it's very beautiful um So what you need to know uh, going into this is that alchemy is not <laughs> the art of turning base metals into gold. Uh, some con men, uh, possibly and women, uh, uh, decided that they could make some money by persuading uh, people that um, they could turn base metals into, into gold. Uh, but that's actually not the point of alchemy. Uh, the point of alchemy is uh, to teach you how to change yourself from something base and grotesque into something refined and uh, and and beautiful and and, and useful um, uh, and closer to what um, uh, wh whatever your conception of God may um, may think of as good. So alchemy is actually the art of becoming more godly. That's, uh, that's, that's the point. Now this book, um, if, if, as I say, I did not buy this for the text. The text is, is fine, and it, when you already know something about alchemy, uh, the text does its job absolutely fine, uh, but it's not, it's not a great study book. However, 
the art is fantastic. Um, because alchemy was um, uh, was well, well, it was banned. It was it was forbidden, um, and so they had to speak in allegories. They had to speak in code, and so everything had to be shown as um, well as not as what it actually was. Um, some, I guess that's that looks like Blake, yes, uh, from from his poem Jerusalem. Um, so every single picture that you see is actually a code for something else. For example, the snake um, is its code for information. Um, you see, uh, then of course, you know, the number of petals on the flowers will represent something. Uh, the colors represent something. The um, uh, the the direction that uh, the person is sitting will represent something. And once you know the code, you can work out what the exercise is or what the practice is, what you need to do in order to attain this uh, form of godliness um, or of, of, of greater per perfection. There we go. Yes, when I when I say that um, tarot and alchemy have similar roots, well, they, those roots are really um, uh, uh, Jewish roots, um, Judeo-Christian roots, anyway. Which, of course, have their own roots in in earlier traditions. Or Blake, of course. Uh, William Blake was heavily into uh, mysticism and and uh, and alchemy. Um, there we go. So I won't go through the entire book with you, uh, but as you can see, every single page is um, has has some beautiful art on it. It's beautifully printed. It's very very. Um, uh, nice. The the paper feels a little waxy under the uh, 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 to the touch. There we go. Um, it's an enormous book uh, in terms of the number of pages, if not necessarily in in size. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So we're looking at around yeah 566 pages of art. Plus, um, plus an index at the end there, with a little catalogue of also by Taschen <laughs> on the back there, which uh, may take you out a little bit from the um, from the spell of the book itself. There we go. Yes, the uh, the dust cover is also um, well. It's it's more satiny. Uh, paper on the inside. Uh, the book itself seems to be, let me just check, uh, it seems to be um, sewn. Yes, it's, um, you can see the stitches there. Um, and it, uh, it holds together very nicely. There we are. There's the Taschen Book of Alchemy and Mysticism, uh, The Hermetic Museum by Alexander Rube. Hope you liked the video. Hope you liked the book. Um, I'll have a few more um, of these more esoteric books for you over the next few days. Take care. See you soon.